Bobby Brown, born 1957, is an American professional makeup artist and the founder and ex-CCO of Bobby Brown Cosmetics. Brown has written eight books about makeup and beauty. She is the contributing beauty and lifestyle editor of Health Magazine and beauty and lifestyle editor of the Elvis Duran in the morning show radio broadcast A Chance Meeting with the Grandmother of an NBC Today show producer led to a 12-year run as a regular beauty consultant on the show. The revolutionary success of her makeup line prompted Esty Lauder to buy the company in 1995, retaining Brown as an employee. Her work has since been featured on the covers of magazines such as Elle, Vogue, Self and Town and Country. Brown was inducted into the New Jersey Hall of Fame as part of the class of 2013. Brown served as Yahoo Beauty's editor-in-chief from February 2014 to February 2016 and 1990, Brown worked with a chemist to come up with 10 natural lipstick shades. In 1991, the Ten Shades debuted under the name Bobby Brown Essentials at Bergdorf Goodman. The following year, she released Yellow Tone Foundation Sticks. Estee Lauder Companies Incorporated bought Bobby Brown Essentials in 1995, Brown retained complete creative control of the makeup line. In 2007, the first freestanding Bobby Brown Cosmetics retail store opened in Auckland, New Zealand with a makeup school in the back. In 2012, Bobby Brown's cosmetics were estimated to represent approximately 10% of Estee Lauder Company's total sales. As of January 2014, there were approximately 30 freestanding Bobby Brown Cosmetics stores. In December 2016, it was announced that Brown would step down from the company by the end of the year. Other Product Lines Bobby Brown has a collection of six fragrances named Bobby, Beach, Bath, Almost Bare, Bobby's Party, and Bed. In 2013, she collaborated with Cephalo Group SPA to produce an eyewear line, Bobby Brown Eyewear. In 2019, she announced new wellness line, Evolution U underscore Books. Bobby Brown Beauty, The Ultimate Resource, 1995. ISBN 0446581348 Bobby Brown Teenage Beauty, Everything You Need to Look Pretty, Natural, Sexy and Awesome, 2000, with Anne-Marie Iverson, New York Times Best Seller, ISBN 0060957247 Bobby Brown Beauty Evolution, A Guide to a Lifetime of Beauty, 2002 ISBN 0060088818 Bobby Brown Living Beauty, 2007, ISBN 0802125834-6 Bobby Brown Makeup Manual, for everyone from beginner to pro, 2008, ISBN 0446581348 Bobby Brown Beauty Rules, 2010, ISBN 0811874680. Bobby Brown Pretty Powerful, 2012, with Sarah Bliss, ISBN 0811874743. Everything Eyes, 2014, with Sarah Bliss. ISBN 978-1425211961-8. Causes Bobby Brown Cosmetics launched the Pretty Powerful Campaign for Women and Girls on International Women's Day in 2013. Pretty Powerful supports organizations that seek to empower women through job skills training programs and girls through education. Beneficiaries to date include Dress for Success the Broom Street Academy High School, and the Girl Rising Fund. Personal Life Brown is married to Stephen Plofker, has three sons, and lives in New Jersey. She spends her summers in Bayhead on the Jersey Shore Iography. Born to a Jewish family in Chicago, Illinois. Brown has five siblings including her step-siblings. Brown graduated from Emerson College in Boston with a self-directed degree in theatrical makeup. In 1980, she moved to New York City to work as a professional makeup artist. 
Brown became known for a makeup style that included moderate and natural tones, which was a stark contrast to the bright colors used at the time. She and a drugstore chemist created a line of lipsticks, 10 lipsticks on beige pigment. In 1991, Brown and her husband partnered with another couple to launch the brand Bobby Brown Essentials, which debuted at Bergdorf Goodman in New York City. Women in the Minoan civilization colored their lips with bright red cosmetics. Lip paint in ancient Greece was initially restricted to prostitutes and courtesans, but expanded to the upper class between 700 and 300 BCE. Greek women colored their lips with cosmetics made from dyes containing Tyrian purple, crushed mulberries, and the toxic pigment vermilion. The Chinese made some of the first lipsticks that were made from beeswax over 1,000 years ago to protect the delicate skin of the lips. During the Tang Dynasty, 618-907 CE, scented oils were added to them, which gave the mouth an enticing factor. Eyeshadow is a cosmetic that is applied on the eyelids and under the eyes. It is commonly used to make the wearer's eyes stand out or look more attractive. Eyeshadow can add depth and dimension to one's eyes, complement one's eye color, make one's eyes appear larger, or simply draw attention to the eyes. Eyeshadow comes in many different colors and textures. It is usually made from a powder and mica, but can also be found in liquid, pencil, cream or mousse form. Just like other trends, eyeshadow looks also have trends. Civilizations across the world use eyeshadow predominantly on females but also occasionally on males. In Western society, it is seen as a feminine cosmetic, even when used by men. In Gothic fashion, black or similarly dark colored eyeshadow and other types of eye makeup are popular among both sexes. In India, eyeliner, called coal played a prominent role in various dance forms and ceremonies such as weddings. Many people use eyeshadow simply to improve their appearance, but it is also commonly used in theater and other plays, to create a memorable look, with bright, bold colors. Depending on skin tone and experience, the effect of eyeshadow usually brings out glamour and gains attention. The use of eyeshadow attempts to replicate the natural eyeshadow that some women exhibit due to a natural contrasting pigmentation on their eyelids. Natural eyeshadow can range anywhere from a glossy shine to one's eyelids, to a pinkish tone, or even a silver look. Eyelash extensions are used to enhance the length, curliness, fullness, and thickness of natural eyelashes. The extensions may be made from several materials, including mink, synthetic, human or horse hair. The main method of applying the extensions is by using an adhesive glue to individually stick the extensions to the eyelash line. The lashes are placed hair by hair on your own lashes, so that your own lashes are therefore extended. False eyelashes and eyelash extensions are not the same. Just like natural eyelashes, the extensions fall out. They needed to be filled up about every three weeks. Cosmetics are substances or products used to enhance or alter the appearance of the face or fragrance and texture of the body. Many cosmetics are designed for use of applying to the face and body. They are generally mixtures of chemical compounds derived from natural sources, such as coconut oil, or maybe synthetic or artificial. Cosmetics that are applied to the face to enhance one's appearance may be called makeup which include lipstick, mascara, eyeshadow, foundation, blush, and bronzer, among other products. In the United States, the Food and Drug Administration which regulates cosmetics, defines cosmetics as intended to be applied to the human body for cleansing, beautifying, promoting attractiveness or altering the appearance without affecting the body's structure or functions. This broad definition includes any material intended for use as an ingredient of a cosmetic product. The FDA specifically excludes pure soap from this category. Many women in the 19th century liked to be thought of as fragile ladies. They compared themselves to delicate flowers and emphasized their delicacy and femininity. They aimed always to look pale and interesting. Sometimes ladies discreetly used a little rouge on the cheeks and used belladonna to dilate their eyes so it would make them stand out more. Makeup was frowned upon in general, 
especially during the 1870s when social etiquette became more rigid. Teachers and clergywomen specifically were forbidden from the use of cosmetic products. During the 19th century, there was a high number of incidences of lead poisoning because of the fashion for red and white lead makeup and powder. This led to swelling and inflammation of the eyes, weakened tooth enamel, and caused the skin to blacken. Heavy use was known to lead to death. However, in the second part of the 19th century, great advances were made in chemistry from the chemical fragrances that enabled a much easier production of cosmetic products. It was socially acceptable for actresses in the 1800s to use makeup, and famous beauties such as Sarah Bernhardt and Lily Langtry could be powdered. Most cosmetic products available were still either chemically dubious or found in the kitchen amid food coloring, berries and beetroot. By the middle of the 20th century, cosmetics were in widespread use by women in nearly all industrial societies around the world. The cosmetic industry became a multi-billion dollar enterprise by the beginning of the 21st century. In 1968 at the feminist Miss America protest, protesters symbolically threw a number of feminine products into a freedom trash can. This included cosmetics, which were among items the protesters called instruments of female torture and accoutrements of what they perceived to be enforced femininity. As of 2016, the world's largest cosmetics company is L'Oreal, which was founded by Eugene Schuler in 1909 as the French Harmless Hair Coloring Company, now owned by Lilianne Bedincourt 26% and Nestlé 28%, the remaining 46% is traded publicly. The market was developed in the U.S. during the 1910s by Elizabeth Arden, Helena Rubinstein, and Max Factor. These firms were joined by Revlon just before World War II and Estee Lauder just after. Although modern makeup has been traditionally used mainly by women, an increasing number of men are using cosmetics usually associated to women to enhance or cover their own facial features such as blemishes, dark circles, and so on. Cosmetics brands release products specially tailored for men, and men are increasingly using them lip gloss, lip liner, lip plumper, lip balm, lip stain, lip conditioner, lip primer, lip boosters, and lip butters. Lipsticks are intended to add color and texture to the lips and often come in a wide range of colors, as well as finishes such as matte, satin, gloss and luster. Lip stains have a water or gel base and may contain alcohol to help the product stay on leaving a matte look. They temporarily saturate the lips with a dye. Usually designed to be waterproof, the product may come with an applicator brush, directly through the applicator, roller ball, or could be applied with a finger. Lip glosses are intended to add shine to the lips and may add a tint of color, as well as being scented or flavored. Lip balms are most often used to moisturize, tint, and protect the lips. Some brands contain sunscreen. Using a priming lip product such as lip balm or chapstick can prevent chapped lips. Primer is used to set the face before makeup is applied. This creates another layer between the skin to prevent acne and makeup clogging up pores. Primer creates an even tone throughout the skin and makes makeup last longer. Primer is applied throughout the face including eyes, lips, and lashes. This product has a creamy texture and applies smoothly. Concealer covers imperfections of the skin. Concealer is often used for any extra coverage needed to cover acne, pimple blemishes, under eye circles, and other imperfections. Concealer is often thicker and more solid than foundation, and provides longer lasting, more detailed coverage as well as creating a fresh clean base for all the rest of the makeup. This product also brightens up the skin and applying under the foundation can remove blemishes and discoloration because of acne scars. Some formulations are intended only for the eye or only for the face. This product can also be used for contouring the face like one's nose, cheekbones, and jawline to add a more defined look to the total face. In that case, adding a setting powder will add a matte finish. Foundation is used to smooth out the face by covering spots, acne, blemishes, or uneven skin tone. These are sold in a liquid, 
cream, or powder, or more recently in a mousse. Foundation provides sheer, matte, dewy or full coverage. Foundation primer is applied before foundation to fill out pores, create a dewy look or create a smoother finish. They usually come in cream formulas to be applied before foundation as a base. Face powder sets the foundation and under eye concealer, giving it a matte finish while also concealing small flaws or blemishes. It can also be used to bake the foundation, so that it stays on longer and create a matte finish. Tinted face powders may be worn alone as a light foundation so that the full face does not look as caked up as it could. Rouge, blush, or blusher is cheek coloring to bring out the color in the cheeks and make the cheekbones appear more defined. Rouge comes in powder, cream, and liquid forms. Different blush colors are used to complement different skin tones. Highlight, used to draw attention to the high points of the face such as the cheekbones, below the eyebrows, nose, upper lip, and collarbones. This product also adds a glow, comes in liquid, cream, and powder forms. It often contains a substance to provide shimmer. Alternatively, a lighter-toned foundation, concealer can be used. Bronzer gives skin a bit of color and contours the face for a sharper definition or creates a tan look. Bronzer is considered to be more of a natural look and can be used for everyday wear. Bronzer enhances the color of the face. It comes in either matte, semi-matte slash satin, or shimmer finishes. Mascara is used to darken, lengthen, thicken, or draw attention to the eyelashes. It is available in various colors. Some mascaras include glitter flecks. There are many formulas, including waterproof versions for those prone to allergies or sudden tears. It is often used after an eyelash curler and mascara primer. Many mascaras have components to help lashes appear longer and thicker. Eyeshadow being applied. Broadway actor Jim Broku applies makeup before the opening night of a play. Eyeshadow is a pigmented powder cream or substance used to accentuate the eye area, traditionally on, above, and under the eyelids. Many colors may be used at once and blended together to create different effects using a blending brush. This is conventionally applied with a range of eyeshadow brushes, though it isn't uncommon for alternative methods of application to be used such as fingers. However, it is important to have clean fingers because oils from your skin can result in pimples. Eyeliner is used to enhance and elongate the apparent size or depth of the eye. For example, white eyeliner on the waterline and inner corners of the eye makes the eyes look bigger and more awake. It can come in the form of a pencil, a gel, or a liquid and can be found in almost any color. Conversely, black eyeliner makes eyes look smaller, brightens up the face and draws attention to the eyes. Makeup brush is used to apply makeup onto the face. There are two types of makeup brushes, synthetic and natural. Synthetic brushes are best for cream products while natural brushes are ideal for powder products. Using the appropriate brush to apply a certain product allows the product to blend into the skin smoothly and evenly. A foundation brush is usually a dense brush that distributes the product evenly while smoothing out the face. This brush is best used to achieve full coverage. A concealer brush has a small, tapered tip that allows for precise spot correction such as blemishes or discoloration. A stippling brush has soft, synthetic bristles that gives an airbrushed effect. This brush is best used to achieve light to medium coverage. A blush brush comes in all shapes and sizes and is used to apply blush, allowing the blush to look natural while giving a flush of color. A powder brush tends to be big and fluffy for quick and easy application of dusting powder all over the face. Powder gives the appearance of a matte effect. A bronzer blush, which can also serve as a contour brush is an angled brush that gives the face dimensions and illusions, by allowing the makeup to be placed in substitution of bone structure. This brush can also be used to add a shimmering highlight illusion to the cheekbones, nose and chin. A highlight brush, also known as a fan brush, has bristles that are typically spread out and is used to apply where the sun would naturally hit. 
An eyeshadow brush is a dense brush that allows shadow to be packed onto the eyelid. A blending eyeshadow brush is used to blend out any harsh lines you may have from the eyeshadow and can soften the eyeshadow look. An eyeliner brush is tapered with an extra fine tip used for gel eyeliners which allows precision to line the eyes. A spoolie is used to brush out the eyebrows and can also be used as a mascara wand. A lip brush is small to ensure precision and is used to apply lipstick evenly onto the lips. An eyebrow brush is tapered and is slanting from the top, which tends to define the eyebrows and fill in the empty spaces between brows, to give them a fuller and denser look.